Okay, you'll notice all we've basically got in this graphic is one big blue box going across with a white box with the picture inside and some text, okay? And the same down here, some more text, okay? So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to actually steal this color. I'm going to select the eyedropper, choose this blue just so I have it. And that is fine. So let's come back to our template. Here we are. I'm going to zoom out here a bit just so I can see what's happening. What I want to do is I want to come into our layers palette and I want to go to the top layer and I want to make a new layer. Okay. Marquee, rectangular marquee tool selected with that blue I just selected, which is we've used it a few times now. 1A446A. Okay. I'm just simply going to draw a blue section. Now it doesn't have to be perfect to start with because we can always come in with free transform and change it later holding down uh, alt on your keyboard hitting backspace and that's that blue that we used let me just zoom in again for you that's that blue we used in the original okay next thing I want to do is uh, select select the foreground color I want to make it white and I just want to make a white box it's that simple again I'm not too concerned because I can come in and change it hold down alt hit backspace and that's the white box okay so we're looking good now in the original folder here we had a picture it says show floor okay that's we're gonna drag that in the Photoshop you'll get that from the same folder that you downloaded okay I'm just gonna move to new window and what I'm gonna do is just drag that into Photoshop template okay obviously it's way too big so what do we do when things are way too big control T put it in free transform hold down shift keeping it in proportion and yeah might have to make that white box a bit whiter a bit bigger I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger as well actually and there's about fine you'll notice that our white box is too small but that's not a problem that's easy to fix once you've got that shape in once you've got the picture in a double left click okay that now puts it in and what I want to do is I want to come into our layers palette and do you know what I did wrong very silly okay on layer 10 I didn't make a new layer to put the white one on so if you click on layer 10 um, with the eyedropper select that blue okay and then all we're gonna do is with the paintbrush um, do you know what I'm just gonna choose hold down on the gradient tool choose the paint bucket left click I'm gonna get rid of that white okay now what I'm gonna do is make a new layer select foreground color to be white okay sorry about that I made a mistake and I'm just gonna draw a selection around this okay and I'm gonna hold down alt backspace and there is the white okay let's have a look see how we're looking looking damn tidy now I'm actually gonna move this picture which is layer 11 which is the picture okay layer 11 I'm just gonna move it up to the top a bit more because I'm gonna actually put some writing underneath here and there we go that is our white with our tech with our uh, picture in just like the original and the original I had 2009 uh, Thailand 2009 electronics festival it does not exist but it sounds good so with that same blue the same blue as the background here in fact I'm gonna zoom in so I can have a good look I'm just gonna type in in fact I'm gonna zoom out a bit now I'm just gonna type in uh, what was it Thailand electronics festival festive festival 2009 okay that's what I'm typing in I'm just gonna move that across move it down Thailand electronics festival 2009 I'm gonna highlight that I'm gonna put it into a font of Arial okay I'm gonna make it 12 pixels okay in fact yep 12 pixels is alright let me just zoom out see how we're looking this is at a hundred percent yep that's looking good so there's our picture Thailand Electronics Festival 2009 it does not exist okay what I want to do now is I want to type in that text okay so I'm going to make white my foreground color I'm gonna click inside and I'm gonna write elect uh, let me sorry let me highlight this up here with the text tool selected up here they see the blue make that white okay elect electronics 
festival 2009. Okay, that, that'll be fine. And I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to make it into, let's say, a 24 pixel. Uh, maybe a bit big. Let's make it 20 pixel. That's better. Okay, and I'm just going to put that at the side here. So, Electronic Festival 2009. Next thing I want to grab is from the original, we had all this uh, writing here. I'm just going to simply uh, click and drag. Control C. Again, you won't have to do this. Just go to that document. And I'm going to, with the pen tool select, make a selection. Click inside. Control V. And there is our font. Okay. And if I drag it down, you'll notice we... Okay, I'm going to make this actually a bit small. I'm going to make the font, let's say, 10 pixels. Okay, just so I can get everything in. And that's looking good. And there we go. We've, we could actually move Electronics Festival 2009, which is this layer here. Let's move that up a bit. In fact, we could even make it, we could even make it just smaller. It's way too big considering to the other text. Let's make this a 16, okay? I'm now going to stick this across with the move tool. Okay, I'm going to move it up a bit. And then I'm going to grab this fake text that you can download. I'm going to move that up a bit as well. And there we go. We've just made our top section looking really good. In the next tutorial, we'll come in and we'll come down and we'll get all this text here. Okay, so.